Hey guys, it is me again. Today is uh, Thursday, I think. Yep, Thursday, February 14th. That makes it day 45 on our Daily Bread 2013 project. Anyway, guys, it is good to be here tonight. Hope y'all are doing alright. Got to try to make this as quick as I can. Uh, guys, first crack out of the bat, I have to say I'm sorry for not being here last night. Like I told you guys, uh, whenever I'm not able to be here, I'll just tell you, you know, whatever the reason was. And uh, last night, to be honest about it, <clears throat> you know, last night was Wednesday night, so we had church. Didn't get home till almost 9 o'clock. So, uh, gave me a little snack, you know, when I got home and uh, had to do carburetors. You know, uh, every few weeks seems like um, I have to do carburetors. Uh, you know, I've noticed over the years that business tends to go in spurts and it tends to go in, what I'm saying is like the same jobs. The, the jobs t tend to cycle. Um, I mean, you'll go for a week or two and it seems like all you'll do is break jobs, is what I'm trying to say. And then you'll go for a week or two and all you'll do is exhaust work, seems like. And I mean, not all, but mostly. You know, just like it kind of goes in cycles where, you know, and every little bit it goes, uh, it does that with with uh, ATV carburetors. You know, you, you know every little bit. I think right now we're you know, kind of getting almost out of winter and you know getting ready to become spring. Maybe some people are, they've had four wheelers put up and you know they want them uh, running for spring. Maybe is what it is. But anyway, I've got like a, well actually about four, four or five actually down there to work on. But anyway, we had three. Uh, carburetors pulled off of three different ATVs that I had to do. So I got home last night and Dad reminded me of that that I needed to do them. So anyway guys, I got out there last night and normally uh, three carburetors I don't know, you know, cook, cooking them in my uh, uh, ultrasonic cleaners, the, the longest part. But normally even three I could do I don't know, I normally let them go 50 minutes a piece. 50, not 15, 50, you know, almost an hour. Uh, and then I'll take them out, you know, take it all apart, put it in there, go 50 minutes, and then uh, pull it out and put it together. So, I mean, you're looking about three hours there for, for three. Well, my problem I ran into last night, one of them has been in an ATV that has been sitting for almost two years, the guy said. And I don't know what happened to the gas in it. I mean, gas you know, turns bad very easily, but what I'm saying is this one is worse than I've ever seen. The needle valve, the float needle that lets the, regulates how much gas comes in and out of the carburetor, it's hooked to your float, worst I've ever seen. I mean, it was stuck. It stuck. I, I would, I would run it for 50 minutes, pull it out, try to get it out. It, it was stuck so hard I couldn't get it out. Um, do it another cycle, couldn't get it out. I sprayed, uh, Lucas, uh, Toolbox Buddy, which is what we use as a lubricant, best stuff in the world anyway, but, I mean, I just, I try, I mean, I, I spent so much time trying to get this needle valve out of this thing, guys, I finally did. What I'm getting at is, you know, I just, I kept working and kept trying at this one, and I'd go to another one and do it, and by the time it was all said and done, guys, I got in here, and it was like 3, I don't know, 3.15, 10 after 3, something like it. It was after 3 o'clock when I got in here last night, and I was killed, and I just said, you know what, there's there's no way I can do a video. So anyway, guys, I, I, I'm sorry I wasted four minutes of your time tonight to tell you that, but I always like to explain it when I'm not able to be here. Like I've told you guys before, you know, if I come up and out, I just don't want to do it or don't feel like doing it, I'll tell you, you know, it's, you know, but um, if it's something else too, I'll tell you that too, so. Anyway, guys, uh, what else? Not much, not much to, you know, really jibber-jabber about. Uh, just normal stuff. You guys keep praying for us. Keep praying for me. Uh, you know, like I've said before, guys, it, it's a struggle every day in this world. You know, it is to to get by and and you know just you know it's a lot easier. I tell people all the time. I say these prosperity preachers. You know, they make everybody believe. Get you know, start serving the Lord. You know, once you've been uh, you know been converted. Once you you've you know. Uh, repented and, and uh, oh your life's going to get better and it's going to get easier and it's going to do all this you're going to have more money and you know like I tell people that's not the case I mean your life does get better 
but it gets harder. I mean, it's just the truth. It gets harder because, you know, the devil, number one, you've got a big bullseye on your back now. You know, when he already had you, he don't care about it. You know, he's going to thank you. He's going to make you. He, he actually wants everything to go easy. That way you keep throwing away your going. Uh, but, you know, once you get saved, he's going to start throwing his darts at you. Not only that, like I was getting at, guys, you know, it's just, it's easier physically. I mean, it is to get through the world not worrying about God, you know, not trying to serve him and do what he wants to do because you can just do anything, you know. You don't have to worry about making decisions. You don't have, you know, you don't have things come across you and, you, you know, you have to ponder, okay, does God want me to do this? Does he not? What, should, you know, what should I do? And You know, so, uh, I mean, it's just, what I'm getting at, guys, is it's, there's a lot of, of decision making. There's a lot of contemplating. There's a lot of praying when you're trying to serve the Lord, you know, but, Praying that he guides us, you know, praying that he will guide you in, in all the things that he wants us to do. And, and uh, you know, that's one of the things I pray for every day is for that guidance, you know, in, in my life, my family's life. So hope you guys are praying for that too. I pray for it for you all, and I hope you pray for it for me. So anyway, guys, like I said, I got not really a whole lot of jibber-jabber talk about. Business has been decent this week, sure has. I think some tax money is starting to break loose because we've sold more ATV tires this week <clears throat> than I've sold all winter. So, you know, uh, matter of fact, I'm getting ready to get on the computer as I'm uploading this, and i got to order another set. You know, uh, we've sold about a, probably one or two sets of, of tires every day this week. Uh, and I've sold a set today. I went ahead and paid for it. i gotta, I got to get on the computer and order them. But, uh, you know, you can tell a little tax money's coming back. So... <clears throat> You know, just going to trust in the Lord with all of it. So anyway, guys, I guess that's about it. <coughs> Excuse me. You can tell I'm still having trouble every now and then with that congestion coming up on me. Uh, at least I can talk, though. The other day it came up on me so hard I couldn't even talk. So anyway, guys, uh, getting to the important thing tonight. I don't want to just keep sitting there jibber-jabbering for no reason. Uh, and that is, of course, the Word of God. Revelation chapter 12, starting in verse 1. Here we go. And a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains and the agony of giving birth. And another sign appeared in heaven, behold, a great red dragon, with seven heads and ten horns, and on his heads seven diadems. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she bore her child, he might devour it. She gave birth to a male child, one who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. Now guys, it don't take a genius to figure out who this is talking about. But her child was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, for she has a place prepared by God in which she is to be nourished for 1260 days. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, the ancient serpent who is called the devil, and Satan, and Satan, excuse me, the deceiver of the whole world, he was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down who accuses them day and night before our God. So anyway, guys, that's where we're going to stop tonight. Hope uh, hope you guys got something out of reading tonight. Hopefully maybe I said something in my jibber-jabber, guys, that has helped you some way. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. Like I said, just we gotta keep praying for each other, keep praying for our country. Uh, you know, just gotta stick together. You know, pray for each other and love each other. You know, that's what Jesus commanded. You know, to love one another. Uh, you know, as He loves us. Uh, and that's you know, I've seen a lot of people that claim, oh well, I mean, they don't really claim this, but you know, they well, I love the Lord. Well, maybe that is, you know, I claim I love the Lord more than anything, and. But they don't love other, or at least they don't show love to other people. And, you know, he told us that if we're truly in him and we love him that much, we're going to love other people, too. 
you know, and I'm, you know, it, it's, it's hard to stay in time to, to, uh, you know, do the things maybe you used to could do to show love is what I'm trying to say. You know, I know we, you know, we live in a different day and time, but we can still do it. So anyway, guys, I guess that's about it for tonight. Uh, as always, if y'all need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, uh, I guess that's about it. So, uh. Guys, good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night. Until I see you all again, good night, and God bless.